This is the chief of Pagol Birich Billy 1956. It is several years down the road since this bridge broke down, leaving communities disconnected. It is a lifeline bridge that links many towns and villages in the Greater Tony counties with other major towns in the region including Wau and Kwajo. My name is Akol Mobio. For this bridge to connect the entire community, especially Tonya and Gugria. Yeah, this is a connection of these two communities. But now this bridge, it becomes a collapsed. So no alternative of a big car or a big lorry to pass through this uh, road because of the damaging of this bridge. Since the bridge is not working, it has collapsed. How are people transporting goods from here and there? Exactly. That, there is no any alternative for the community to run their business. It is because of uh, this bridge is not working well. When uh, during dry season, then the, the business will be run through motorcycle or motor uh, or a bicycle. I mean. What if you get the chance now to talk to the government? What would you request from them about this bridge? Yeah. Thank you for that question. If I have a shine to request the government. The main priority to request from that government is about this road and including the bridge. You said earlier that this 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 one broke down long time ago, and you mobilized people around here to start repairing it. How easy was it? Was it easy for you to convince people to start working, repairing this bridge? It is easy to convince the community to repair this one, but there is a, any there is any difficulties because this bridge is not been constructed by uh, the labor i mean it is need a government need some material yes need some material from the government so that they can support the community yeah for repairing this but not the whole bridge mm. but that is okay. some part of the bridge mm. we can uh, repair it especially mm. that side that side we can repair that side using this side okay. and then we use wheel wheelbro during rainy season water overflow the bridge making it difficult for the motorists and even pedestrians to cross the river what do we expect to happen if this bridge is not repaired yeah i can expect there will be no a good life because there is no any business during the dry season during i mean during wet season there will be no a good life because during wet season the old community especially this river will be flat then if it is flat the river is flowing if it is flowing there there is no any alternative to across the bridge to, to across the river i mean but how about the students no, the schools are from this side yeah are uh, the students just crossing normally during when you when this river is over flooded nobody can cross and what what happened next you know mm. there are some few few of the people or the students they just try to across the to cross the river through the bridge using or, this bridge yeah and even some of the students, they used to swim. swim while they are holding the right side group like this one. And the swam was using one hand so across the river and then they go to school. What is the problem with the bridge? Is it because it is becoming old or the water has just washed away some parts? Or what is the problem? Yeah, the, what water, is the water washed some parts of the bridge away. Yeah, that is the main problem. Also, when the bridge is overflow, mm. the water can even pass through the bridge. On top of yeah, the bridge. Yeah, on top of the bridge. Okay. Yeah. This is during rainy season. Yeah, during then rainy Then water season. can overflow the bridge. They overflow the bridge. Then people cannot pass yeah. any longer. No, they cannot pass. So, let's talk about insecurity. Currently, we understand that there are intercommunal conflicts happening around. People are in conflicts. Is it becoming hard for you, government, to find ways of quickly intervening because of no bridge here? How is the security people reaching you when there are problems here? Because the bridge, water will be overflowing the bridge, people cannot pass, no cars. So is, is it becoming hard here? Yeah, it has become hard. Uh, example, hmm. uh, last season, let me say, uh, during, uh, during the month of October, there was an insecurity here. People were shut down, around five people, during night time. Then, uh, Ministry of Education and Commissioner, they were trying to come to that community to see what was happening. 
then it bad hard for them to come then they keep their uh, their car somewhere there and they and they use their foot up to that side they can use their foot up to that side to see the community what is there what is security affecting them what are the challenges here so all these are the challenges but the main problem it is because of two conditions there's no any business to be run around here and and also when there is insecurity there's no intervention from the government it is because Why? of this of this very of this very okay yeah yeah my opinion to the government mm. if the government is here what i'm saying mm. the first priority for the government to live in this community is a bridge and the road the second is a network when the water subsided vehicles avoided the bridge and crossed the river from another direction that is impossible during rainy season when the water is still overflowing the close down of this bridge has halted economic progress and delivery of services it has also hindered quick government intervention during the intercommunal conflicts members of this community sometimes volunteer by using local tools to reveal minor damages and perform any necessary maintenance this bridge has broke down long time ago and it has stopped almost all the delivery of services the communities here have complained number of issues like saying it is becoming harder for the government to find ways of quickly intervening during intercommunal conflicts and this has hindered most of progressive activities in this area improving rural infrastructure would also boost transportation efficiency economic growth access to schools health care facilities markets as well as reaching the places of employment.